He call me Big Purr. He call me Big Purr. He calleth me Big Purr. I like that one. My name is Kayleen and welcome back to my kitchen. So last time we ate like sweetie. Oh my God. But this time we're gonna be eating like drum roll please. Koi Lorette. So not only is she a rapper, but she dabbles in the kitchen a little bit on her channel. So we're gonna try a couple of her recipes and see if she can really hold it down in the kitchen. So let's get to it. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is get groceries. Cause how are you gonna cook with no groceries? We're gonna chef it up and we're gonna make some really good food. Hopefully, because you know, we're trying it out. We don't know if Coily Ray knows what she's talking about just yet. All right, we got two of the most important ingredients so far. That's sesame and adobo goya. Now, if you know, you know. So we're on a good pace right now. So let's keep going. Let's get started with meal number one. The Cali inspired salmon fried tacos. So we have our three fillets of salmon right here. And she does make sure that she keeps the skin on the salmon because it keeps in the flavor. So we're gonna keep it on as well. We got flour, we got lettuce, we got eggs, and we got our seasoning. So this is a relatively easy meal to make. It should take only about five to 10 minutes. We're gonna put the vegetable oil in the pan and let it simmer on low while we season the salmon. Our salmon is already cut in fillets, but I wanna cut them in cubes. Thought this was sharp, obviously it's not. So we're just gonna do option two, scissors. So now that we have all of our pieces cut, we are going to go ahead and season it a little bit. So we have adobo, lorries, and we have pepper. She said that she only sprinkles it because we don't want it to be too salty. This is really weird, but um, I also like to stab my fish so that like any of the seasoning gets in the fish. That might not be real, it might not be true, but in my head it makes sense. We got our two eggs, let's crack those in. I made a mess. Damn! So I am gonna put the seasoned salmon first, put it in the egg wash, then we're gonna put it in the flour. Okay, so there's a little air bubble, which is a little alarming to me. I'm just gonna do this, just to give it that shape. Salmon does not take a long time to cook, so as soon as you put it in the oil, it should be ready in like a minute. So we fried the tortillas, we fried the salmon, we got our lettuce, we got our sweet chili, now it's time to assemble. Do you want the burnt one? This one was made with extra love. So first thing that Coily Ray does is she puts in the lettuce. Dang. And now pick your pieces of meat. Oh yeah, last but not least, Sweet chili sauce. Oh! Bon appetit. Flavor wise, it could use a little bit more of a kick. I feel like it needed hot sauce. I think we could have maybe added a little bit more salt. Still good though. It's still good though, yeah. I think the sweet chili sauce is what saved it. So meal number one didn't have the amount of flavor that I was looking for. I'm really looking forward to meal number two. Her infamous ribs with her mom's infamous potato salad. So potato salad isn't something that everyone likes. I definitely think that based on looking at the recipe itself, there's a lot of different vegetables that are gonna be put in it and you can't mess up ribs. It's barbecue sauce and meat. And we gotta peel the potatoes. Pop up, it's hot. Oh my gosh, all right, I'm gonna wait for these to cool and then I'm gonna peel them. Same layout, different ingredients. Let's go ahead and do the ribs first just because these have to cook. What Coilerae does is she just takes the meat and puts it in boiling water. We already have the boiling water boiling. As a Caribbean woman, I usually season my meat way before cooking it, but she just said put the meat straight in there, so we're just gonna trust the process and put it in there. With the meat, we're only gonna cook it until it browns, and then after that, we're going to season it, and then we're supposed to put it on the grill. Now, I don't got a grill because I can't handle the grill. So instead, we're gonna put it in the oven. So while that's cooking, we're gonna make the potato salad. She takes her eggs. Instead of chopping them the way that normal people would, she just crushes them with her hand. Ew. Gosh, it smells like ass. And now we're just gonna drop our onions and peppers. Now she real heavy handed with this mayo. So we're gonna do the same thing. She's real heavy handed with the relish too. So we're just gonna, uh, she put some paprika in there. She puts her adobo in there. 
a little bit of Lari's and then we gonna mix it. So while the potato salad is chilling, we are gonna be working on the meat. So let's go ahead and just put our seasoning. She adds paprika, she adds black pepper, she adds onion powder, she adds garlic powder, and she adds sazon. I've been waiting to use this. Put it all over the meat. And then I'm just gonna rub it all over the meat. You know I like to stab my meat. Don't this meat look sexy? So I'm gonna spray my pan with a little bit of butter spray. So while we're waiting, we're gonna make the rub. So she said that she puts honey, barbecue sauce, ketchup, mustard, garlic, brown sugar, and sugar. We are going to mix those together and add that to the ribs. I can smell it, I can smell it, and I already know this is gonna be amazing. taste test. It better taste good for the amount of time it took. <laughs> it's clear you ain't never made ribs in your life. I can smell it and I already know this is gonna be amazing. I couldn't put it on the grill, so that probably took away from it. It's mad chewy for real. Mad chewy. That was my bad. But the taste, tell me how the taste is. Flavors, I, I feel like it could use some spice for sure. I'm gonna say the flavor is definitely on Coilerae. It's not on me, because I, I followed the recipe and I did exactly what she said. It's just the way I cooked it made it chewy. So that took away from the taste overall. All right, well, try the potato salad. I don't wanna. Just try it. Mm. You like it? Is it bussin? Is it bussin? Wow, right? I didn't think I would like this. I'm not going with you. No, I like that. One, it has crunch from the onions and the peppers. Everything combined definitely gives it the kick we were looking for this entire time. Oh, damn, you ate all of it. Yep. Okay, so on to meal number three. We are making home style banana pudding. Unlike everybody else, Coyle Ray eats it hot. So that's what we're gonna do here. She didn't really have a recipe for this, so we're just gonna make regular banana pudding. I don't like bananas, so this has a lot of texture, so I don't know. I think this is more for you than it is for me. Four tablespoons of flour, one and a half cups of sugar, and then a pinch of salt. Lightly beat egg yolks and combine with milk in a large bowl or measuring cup. It's fine, everything's fine, it's fine. So we're gonna put this into the saucepan. We're going to layer the vanilla wafers, then the bananas, then the custard that we just made. Just got it out, hot and ready. It doesn't look that good, but the taste might amaze us. It is good. It's real good. We're eating it hot. And I actually like it. And I don't like banana. So, let's rank it. You rank first. I'll say banana pudding, tacos, potato salad, ribs. I would say potato salad, tacos, banana pudding, and then the ribs. You really messed those ribs up. Okay. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys for watching. If you want to see me try more celebrity recipes, comment down below and subscribe to Cocoa Butter. Mm -hmm.